one of the other books I came across um, after putting down Guru Lesher Bach, which uh, helped me again understand a lot about the universe that we live in, and just basically my, put my own uh, beliefs or what I thought I knew about uh, reality or what I think I know about reality uh, all together was The Elegant Universe by Brian Greene. Now, there's a three hour documentary um, Nova, Nova produced. Uh, Brian Green hosts it, um, so it's it's a very good introduction to some of the theories here, which is basically, um, you know, kicking physics into two different branches. There's basically two main branches of physics, or two main branches that I know of. One of them is uh, just classical physics, which is particle physics, and uh, particle physics is just basically talking about how, you know, the universe is made up of particles that interact with each other directly and indirectly through gravity and electromagnetic. Um, you know the strong nuclear, or the strong nuclear force, or the weak nuclear force. So you know how they interact with each other at distances. So that's one branch of physics where it's basically saying that the universe is made up of particles that interact with each other uh, directly or from distances. The other one is um, well, one of the main ones that I've come across is the elegant universe, which talks about how the universe is made up of uh, vibrating strings, either closed or open loop. Uh, or open, either looped or open, and um, that to me resonated properly. Resonated, I guess, as a pun. But uh, basically, all it says is, uh, you know, everything that we see around us is, uh, you know, vibrating strings, and the the vibration, the frequency um, of the energies uh, of the vibrating energies, vibrating strings, I guess, that determines what um, that energy becomes, what type of matter that becomes. So, very interesting read. This book, like Guru Lesher Bach, um, I left the last 30 pages. I got, I got through a lot more of this than I did Guru Lesher Bach. Uh, this thing is about, I don't know, what is this, like 400 pages or so. Um, I left the last 30 pages. I didn't you know, finish it off because the last couple of chapters, I was losing some of the ideas that, was, you know, that were being presented. So, I plan on going back to this and reading the last three chapters or so. Um, and just scanning through some of the notes that I took. Again, I really marked up this book. Uh, so, highly recommend it. Elegant Universe by Brian Greene. If you want a quick intro to it, pick up the, or actually the documentary is free, available free online, called The Elegant Universe by Brian Greene. Uh, very informative, very, uh, it's, it's very cool to, you know, get some ideas about um, what people think or where mathematics has taken us in us trying to understand what the universe is all about. Now, the fifth book. The fifth book, as far as I'm concerned, is uh, one of the greatest pieces of literature, literature ever created. And uh, the one thing I've learned in, um, in my work anyway, is you can't continue just to work like a machine on the same, in the same field without taking breaks. You have to, you know, kick your mind into neutral and absorb information, and, you know, just let your imagination run wild. One genre which is very underrated in you know, the scientific community and every other philosophical community is uh, the comic book. Now this book, Bone, it's by Jeff Smith. It's a collection of, uh, uh, I think he started this series in the mid-1990s and he put out you know, one issue every two months or so. And this is the Bone, this is the whole series. It's in black and white and uh, it is hands down one of the most amazing uh, stories you will ever read. It is at par with, you know, Lord of the Rings, Dune, the Death Gate cycle. It is, it's fantasy. I wouldn't call it science fiction, but it is fantasy. It is, uh, it is absolutely magnificent. It is humorous. It's for all ages. I've, um, you know, when I. When I, I've read this thing twice, by the way. Uh, I take a lot of breaks. Uh, I need to chill a lot. So uh, I've read this thing twice, and I, and I have bought multiple copies of it and given it as uh, presents to people. And um, I know one of the people I gave it to, um, you know, he was eight or nine years old at the time, and he's like 13 right now. And he's read this thing three times so far. That's how much he loved it. And it's definitely for all ages. Um, so very, very highly recommend that if you need to kick it into neutral and just uh, laugh and just uh, just appreciate life and just chill. Uh, this is very, very good book. Highly recommend it. So those are the five books. Um, and uh, again, 
if I guess if you want, um, you know, there there are sort of different different areas. One is just basically talking about how to use the language of mathematics. Uh, one is about talking about why you need help. Uh, you know, you can't do everything yourself. You need to, uh, you know, seek seek teachers really uh, that can teach you uh, certain, you know, direct you in the right right path and present you with ideas. And that's what God's equation is about. Uh, you know, Einstein being taught by other people, and basically, you know, he, he was basically apprenticing under, uh, you know, you know, experts in their field, and you know, taking that information and presenting his own version, his own imp interpretation of what he understood. Um, elegant universe, different take on the world uh, than particle physics, anyway. Vibrating strings. Uh, Gudel Escherbach, uh, it will humble you. It humbled me. And at some point, I will definitely read this uh, from cover to cover. And if you want a good start, um, just get you started, Bone uh, by Jeff Smith. And you won't be able to put it down. Uh, magnificent. Okay.